Decide the person you wish to be and adhere to this persona, whether in solitude or in social situations. Refusing to plead for affection is akin to being the star that forms the nucleus of your emotional cosmos. Instead of pursuing unreachable planets, you can foster an internal gravitational pull, drawing admirers into your orbit naturally. Just like the moon is drawn to the earth by gravitational force, self-assuredness becomes your allure without requiring begging or expectations. Maintaining love, or even sustaining a relationship, necessitates dedication and affection. It also involves patience and the sharing of emotions with the one you love. Most importantly, for a relationship to be authentic and yield happiness, you need to remain true to yourself. This discussion will delve into the intricacies of love, drawing analogies with stoicism, and transforming the pursuit of connections into a dance of trust, self-worth, and most importantly, self-awareness. Moreover, we will also explore personal growth, where every decision carves our path. Remember, just like stars evolve, we too can progress towards our brightest selves, attracting and sustaining relationships. Today, we navigate a time where technology and social media have amplified our detachment from society, particularly in terms of direct, tangible, and genuine contact with others. This makes forging deep relationships increasingly difficult. Although Stoicism does not specifically concentrate on romantic relationships, this discussion will investigate how Stoic principles can assist you in recognizing and understanding patterns that might shape your selection of a life partner. By recognizing your surroundings, you'll be better equipped to accomplish your life goals. Hence, I recommend relying more on logic than on sentimentality to find someone compatible with you on a fundamental level. For this, we need to dispel the idea of love at first sight, a concept popularized by romance novels and films, which often portray love as an impulsive and emotional phenomenon predominantly tied to physical attraction or some unexplainable chemistry. Don't let your mind or societal trends trick you with this illusion. Love doesn't spontaneously bloom from nothing. It's not a shiny trinket found and picked up from a path. Instead, it's more akin to a garden that demands careful tending. It requires constant effort, unwavering commitment, patience, time, and above all else, trust. This is why true love can be so devastating when it ends, especially in instances of deceit. It's essential to distinguish between real love, obsession, and simple physical attraction. When these concepts are confused, relationships can turn toxic and problematic and letting go becomes a daunting task. This confusion can inflict deep, enduring emotional trauma. Some individuals may be trapped in this dark cloud for years or even their entire lives. True love in its purest form is about understanding, commitment, and appreciation for another person's character and value. It's about admiring and valuing not just who your partner is today, but who they are evolving into. This is the core of a stoic relationship and any healthy, loving relationship. Remember, your well-being and happiness are largely contingent on the relationships you cultivate. Commit to nurturing. We've touched upon this in another discussion dedicated to friendship, which I'll link once we're done here. While we're discussing romantic relationships, this principle applies just as well. I'd like to reiterate that love should not only be directed towards your partner but should also be extended to yourself. True love in its purest form means loving the other person in the same manner as you love and respect yourself. Correspondingly, the other person should reciprocate. In Stoicism, reciprocity is the act of giving back the goodness we receive from others, behaving justly and generously. It is considered a fundamental virtue for societal living. Stoics perceive all humans as part of a broader community where we ought to act for the mutual benefit. Hence, reciprocity becomes a method of expressing thanks and acknowledgement for what we receive from others, encouraging harmony and cooperation among people. Though a broad concept, reciprocity can be effectively applied to a relationship where its practice communicates our gratitude and acknowledgement for the other person reinforcing bonds crucial for a shared life or even winning over someone we're interested in. In relationships, ensure it is esteemed by both you and your partner. Never extend more of yourself to someone unwilling to reciprocate. 
Protect your self-worth, appreciate yourself, and recognize when it's time to move on. These are essential for maintaining a healthy heart, even if it's a difficult process. Bear in mind, if you're unhappy and the other person's actions repeatedly cause you pain despite addressing the issue without change, the misery will only persist, and you'll gradually lose self-respect, your vitality dwindling. Hence, love and respect yourself, and learn when to call it quits, if necessary. Remember, time has an incredible ability to heal even the most profound wounds. Scars may remain, but the harm isn't everlasting. You cannot compel change in others, you can only change yourself. You cannot inspire change in someone unwilling to embark on that journey independently. If you're stuck in this situation, take a leaf from Stoicism's teachings. Don't concentrate on what you can't alter. Look ahead, stand tall, and leave behind anything no longer contributing to your joy. You're much larger than your fleeting emotions and feelings. You hold the power to choose your reaction to a breakup. You can opt to hold your head high, learn from the experience, and continue your path with added wisdom. Now, you might be wondering how to choose your life partner. A common mistake is overly focusing on physical appearance. I'm not suggesting physical attraction isn't important. It's a fundamental piece in the puzzle of relationships, an essential component in the perpetuation of our species. However, physical beauty is transitory and shouldn't be your primary criterion in seeking a partner. Because one day, physical beauty will wane, and you'll value inner beauty, the personality and genuine values crucial for a lasting, healthy relationship, far more. As stated earlier, youth and physical beauty fade, and if your relationship is anchored solely on these aspects, you'll inevitably question it in the future. Aim for a bond that transcends surface-level attraction, one that persists over time, remaining robust and vibrant despite the passing years. Avoid obsessing over finding the physically perfect person, the one most desired by current standards. You hold no control over the past, but you can envision the future. So, engage in this thought experiment and try to foresee what a future with your potential partner might look like. Project into the future and imagine what your relationship might look like a few years down the line. Use this as a guide in your quest for a life partner who stands out for their intelligence. Seek out a person who could possibly be your best friend, a steadfast advisor, a rock in turbulent times, because such times will inevitably come. Look for someone with whom you'd feel comfortable starting a family, and someone you'd feel secure having children with, even if this isn't currently in your plans. This counsel is universal and applies to both genders. It's vital to comprehend that no one is perfect and chasing after the picture-perfect partner depicted in films will only constrict your choices and shut the doors to potential opportunities. Avoid fixating exclusively on one person, particularly if they show no interest in you. Sometimes, we devote ourselves to people who don't reciprocate our affections or even deserve us, squandering precious time and potentially sacrificing parts of our core self in a futile bid for their validation. In line with Stoic philosophy, we must learn to accept what lies beyond our grasp, and we certainly can't alter or coerce someone's feelings towards us. Always remember, there are countless people in the world, and receiving a rejection simply means that specific individual failed to recognize your true value. In reality, you aren't suffering a loss. A rejection might just be a sign of incompatibility that you might not perceive at the moment but will come to understand, if not appreciate, over time. Thus, do not lose heart. Persist. There are numerous people out there who genuinely value and appreciate your authenticity and potential. Your opportunities are more abundant than you could ever imagine. Remember that every rejection takes you one step closer to the acceptance that will transform your life. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor renowned for his wisdom and adoration of Stoic philosophy, shared his life with a woman of equivalent emotional and intellectual stature. Together, they formed one of the most influential and respected pairs in Roman history. His wife was more than just an empress. She was his life partner and his equal in many respects. The depth of their bond and mutual respect is evident in their correspondence and the state decisions they made collectively. 
Their relationship exemplified the stoic principles they both held dear and implemented in their lives. They practiced temperance, justice, courage, and wisdom, the cardinal virtues of stoicism not only in their governance but also in their personal relationship. They tackled adversity together, maintaining composure and rationality in the midst of both political and personal crises. Despite being an emperor, Marcus Aurelius had to grapple with the loss of several of his offspring and the incessant stress of leading the Roman Empire, but in his wife, he found comfort and support. However, their relationship was not devoid of rumors and challenges. Accusations were made, but through it all, Marcus Aurelius staunchly defended her and did not let others' malicious words impact their relationship. This unwavering faith exemplifies the Stoic values of moral courage and loyalty. Love, from a Stoic perspective, is a deliberate commitment, a conscious decision. Much like Marcus Aurelius and his wife, we can all learn to love in this manner, choosing our partners not merely for their physical appearance or financial status but for their character, integrity, and their potential to be a loyal companion in life. These are the aspects that hold real value and stand the test of time. Share your love stories in the comments and let us know if this discussion has been beneficial to you in any way. Until next time.